Today we are going to talk about LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning is a database that offers more than 6,600 courses, ranging from computer programming to project management, including instruction on various computer software, programming languages, and business topics. This is a great database for those of you who are looking to take courses to develop new skill sets related to employment. To get there, you will go to our main website at leanpl.org. Then under the e-resources tab, you are going to select online learning. And you will find the link that says LinkedIn Learning and click here. You will need your library card to get started. So let's click here, get started. This is where you're gonna enter in your library card number and your PIN number. If you do not remember your PIN number, you can contact any Lane Libraries branch for assistance, and they can also change your PIN number for you if you would like. So let's enter in our information and click continue. Now this will take you through a general setup. So we'll click sounds good. LinkedIn Learning likes to tailor classes to you based on your interests. So you can go ahead and click on any of these tiles here that are interesting to you. And this will personalize your experience with LinkedIn Learning. So if, for example, if we clicked on accounting, LinkedIn Learning would then start to suggest top accounting courses for us to take based on our interest. So you can click on any of these. Let's just click on one and hit continue when you're done. This also wants you to set a weekly goal if you really want to be consistent with learning. You can always hit maybe later if you'd like. So I'm just going to click maybe later. All right, then click start learning. This will take you to their main page. They have a section with the top picks for you and that could be based on your interest. It also can be based on their popularity. And up here it'll tell you this is a new course, this course is really popular, and you can always click these arrows to go through the rest of the courses. And then up here, this is really cool, if you had a particular skill in mind, you can click on any of these, you can type in your own skill if you'd like, but let's say top skills for audio. Audio engineer, we can click here and it kind of breaks it down into different skills. And it, if you click the arrow here, it will give you courses within that skill. So that's really cool to look at. And they also have a new releases section where you can look at the new courses that they just added. You can always search specifically for a course by searching up here, or you can hit browse. If you hit browse, it is going to break down your courses into three different general categories, business, creative, and technology. You can also click under any of these subjects here to look at all the courses. There are so many courses on here. I promise you will not be bored. But let's say that we really wanted to look for courses such as audio engineering. Instead of looking through all this and trying to find out what general category it's under, we can just search right here for audio engineering. And then we can either click on this first result here or click on the search button. You can always filter your results up here as well. Right here we can say we only want to take courses, show results. And then we can go through here and say time to complete. You can narrow it down that way. You can narrow it down by your experience level. And then if you click all filters, you can have a little bit more ways to narrow down your results. So right here it says there are 81 results for audio engineering. In the bottom corner of each course picture here, it gives you a time for how long this course generally takes to complete. So this first course, it's stated that it's very popular. It takes over nine hours. And then there are some that are only an hour, two hours, two and a half. You can also see the number of individuals that have taken each course. Right here it says we have 17,518 learners. This one that's very popular has over 122,000. 
This one has over 134,000. So this can help you narrow down what course you would like to take. If there are a lot of courses that you're interested in looking at later, you can always click on the Save button here. So let's say the top three we're interested in looking at later. So we'll just hit Save. And it's going to save those courses so you can go back and look at those later. Now let's say that we wanted to take the Audio Mixing Masterclass. So we are going to click here to open up the course. If you scroll down here under the Overview tab, it is going to show you the instructor for the course, how long it is, and what skill level it is, as long with other course details and learning objectives. You can also see the contents of the course on this left-hand side here of your screen, and we can click on any of these, and this will jump to that specific section in the course. Now these other tabs here, we have Notebook and Transcript. If you click on Transcript, you'll be able to read the entire transcript for the video you've selected. So if we click on this video over here, our transcript changed here. And if you click on any of these, you see I'm hovering over these and they become hyperlinked. So if you click on any one of these sentences here, it is going to pop up the timestamp for when this sentence comes up in the video and you can click jump to 246 and it takes you to that exact spot in the video. If you wanted to add notes as you're learning, you can click on your notebook here. Let's say we are, we're just going to type in test and press enter to save. And it saved our note along with a timestamp of where in the video we were as we took that note. And let's say we wanted to take a note right here in this 414 section. Type in your note, hit enter, and it added your note down here as well. You can also edit your note if you wanted to add more to it, or you can delete it by hitting this delete button here. But what's really cool, let's go back to the beginning of this video, is that if you were looking at your notes, and you wanted to go to this specific section where you took this note, you can click right here on this hyperlink and it takes you right to that section in the video. The last thing I wanted to show you is your learning profile. So up on the top, you're going to click on this My Learning icon. This will show you what courses you started taking. So in progress, we have our audio mixing master class. It also shows you the courses that you've saved and we save those top three. If you wanted to get rid of these, let's say you're not interested in taking this fundamentals course, just click on the three dots here and click on save, and that will remove it from your list. So when we refresh our page, that course is not gonna show up anymore. You can also look at your learning history, and this is going to show you all of the completed courses and certificates that you have. In the skills tab here, is where you can customize your experience further by telling LinkedIn Learning what other skills you're interested in. So this is from when we logged in for the very first time and it had us click on those tiles. So this is how you can always go back and change your selections or add more interests. And this concludes our overview of LinkedIn Learning. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or come into your nearest branch and we would be happy to assist you.